these monolithic structures once peppered the shoreline of Great Britain. Believe it or not, these are sound mirrors. Pioneering acoustic physicist William Sansum Tucker designed these sound mirrors, not to see, but to hear approaching enemy aircraft. Here at Denge are some of the finest examples of Tucker's work, and they're each a slightly different size and have different structures. So the smallest one points straight out and it collects sound waves that are slightly lower and slightly nearer. The middle-sized one is pointed further up towards the sky. And then finally, over there, is a 200-foot wall. They're all based on a curved surface known as a paraboloid. And when the sound waves come in and bounce off the paraboloid, they're all focused down to one point at the center called the focal point. Sound waves hit a parabolic reflector at different places. When those reflected rays meet at the focal point, the sound amplifies. I'm going to attempt to recreate an early warning scenario. So I'm going to place this microphone at the focal point. So about there, all of this area is going to collect sound waves and focus them down to the center and amplify the sound. So I've got this set up here with a laptop connected to the microphone at the centre of the parabolic reflector, which is about 100 feet away. And all the sound waves are going to bounce off that reflector and be collected by that microphone. And that's represented by the blue curve here. And the red trace is a control microphone that's placed off to one side. So I'm just going to have a quick listen. At the moment, nothing much is happening. The curves are the same. I can't really see any difference. But as aircraft approach from many miles away and from different points in the sky, the parabolic sound mirrors let sound technicians hear the engines in time to alert air defenses. So I can start to hear something. You can definitely hear a plane propeller. So I can definitely see that the blue curve is above the red one in this middle region here. Historically, we could use these sound mirrors to detect airplanes about 15 or 20 miles away. 